My name is Khalees Kalopa'a and I am a native Hawaiian professional surfer. I grew up in Waikiki. I was born and raised and alongside with my parents and my grandparents, we're three generations on this beautiful beach. I feel like it's such a special place in and out of the water. Getting to kind of share my experience and who I am with the world kind of stems from my home, which is Waikiki. I feel like I connect with Waikiki and my roots is because of how much history there is with this beach, not just with my family, but with like our kings and queens. They used to surf down here back in their day. And I think there's just so much like mana that's around this place. And people often don't see that because they think it's a tourist destination, but it's a home. It's a home to many local Hawaiian families. You know, you come across so many different personalities of tourists. You have the ones that are open to learn about, you know, culture and what your home really is like. And then you'll get, you know, the more entitled side of tourists, you know. Which is always something really hard because it's like you're entering somebody's home. It's not really like this isn't really your place, you know, you're a visitor on like our land. And at the end of the day, I think what we ask for is respect. Especially for people here in Hawaii, you know, we have so much like aloha to give and I feel like people shouldn't take that for granted, you know, sometimes people are like, where's your like aloha? And you're like, well, if you're not going to show me the same respect on my home soil, why should I do the same as you? But that's just me personally. Waikiki is kind of like my responsibility to, you know, my family. Like I said many times before, I wouldn't be where I am today without them. And I've been so fortunate to have a really strong platform when I travel around the world. And I just embody, you know, my home and my culture as much as I can because that's who I am. You know, Waikiki is part of me and it always will be. And I feel like that's my responsibility is to showcase Waikiki everything that you know I stand for when I'm out in the water on the board. This place is so special and it's like rooted on a very much deeper level than people see, you know, because they see the buildings, they see, you know, the tourist industry, but deep down, you know, it's a family, it's a family practice. This place is changing every day. I've seen so many different changes throughout my lifetime and being so young, the amount of changes I've seen, I couldn't imagine like the changes my grandma's seen or like my parents, you know, my uncles and aunties. So for me, a change that I would love to see is to have, you know, the Beach Boys back. I think that's something that is like so close to my heart because I would come down here every single day and like, I would just be surrounded by, you know, family and friends. And I think that's what the beach is missing right now. You know, the vibes kind of changed over the years. And yeah, I think that's the change that I, I would love to see.